Hi there! My name is Sharon, and I'm a third-year medical student at Albany Medical College. Beautiful day outside, isn't it? Blue skies, shining sun. I've really worked up a sweat here. Probably a good time for me to take a break and rehydrate. And that's perfect, because hydration is our topic for this e-performance station. Making sure our bodies have enough water is really important in daily life, and when we're getting ready for a competition. Before we learn about why that's true, and some more information on staying hydrated, just a quick reminder of how e-performance stations work. At different points in time, we'll ask you to pause the video, think about what you've just learned, and complete the activity on the worksheet that goes along with this video. Now you take as long as you need. There's no rush. All right, time to head on back and get started. Let's do this! Earlier, I mentioned that keeping our bodies hydrated with water is really important, but why? Believe it or not, water makes up more than half of our body weight, up to 60%. From our muscles to our organs, down to our cells, every part of our body needs water to work properly. Water has lots of important jobs in our body. Let's go over just some of them now. Water helps keep our joints well lubricated and supported so that we can bend our arms and legs smoothly when we jump, run, and catch or throw a ball. It helps us get rid of our body's waste through bowel movements and urination. It helps us maintain our body temperature so that we're not too hot or too cold. It makes up a big part of our blood, which delivers fresh nutrients and oxygen to our organs and our muscles. Water is even a part of our saliva, which helps us eat and swallow food. It supports our immune system and helps keep us from getting sick by sweeping away germs in our body. Lastly, it helps us sleep well, think clearly, and have more balanced, happier moods. Whew! Water does a lot for us, doesn't it? That's why it's so important to stay hydrated. When we drink water, we help our body accomplish all of those things to feel strong and healthy. It's especially important to stay hydrated if you're in a hot environment or if you're doing something that makes your body sweat more than normal, like exercising. Sweating is an important way our body naturally stays cool. Sweat is partially made of chemicals, like salts and sugars, but it's mostly made of water. So when we sweat, we really need to make sure we give our bodies back the water that it's losing by drinking more water more often. This means before, during, and after a workout. When our bodies don't have enough water, it's called being dehydrated. Being dehydrated can be dangerous because your body can't function properly in all the ways we just learned about. It can also just feel really terrible. Signs that you might be dehydrated include dizziness, headache, a really fast heart rate, tiredness, thirst, dry mouth, dry skin, constipation, crankiness, and dark colored urine. Now this might sound silly, but looking at the color of your urine can tell you if your body is dehydrated or not. Light-colored urine that looks like the color of lemonade means that you're drinking enough water. But if you notice that your urine is a dark gold color, then it's a sign that your body is dehydrated and you need to drink more water. Here's a superstar tip. Don't wait until you're thirsty to drink. Remember, feeling thirsty is a sign that you're starting to become dehydrated. If you remember to drink water throughout the day, and not just when your body tells you to, this will help you keep your body at a good fluid level. Now it's your turn. Pause the video now and write down five signs of dehydration that we just learned about. If you need to, you can rewind and go back to look. Circle the ones you felt before because you were dehydrated. I bet those didn't feel good, huh? Then, circle if the color that you see in the boxes means that the urine is hydrated or dehydrated. Done? Great job! Now, I need to make a trip to the supermarket. Hey, why don't you come with me? It'll be fun! Let's go! Thanks for coming with me. Look, we're in the drink aisle. When we're thirsty, we have a lot of options to choose from. Juice, soda. So, what should we be hydrating with? What's the best drink for our bodies? 
Let's compare the nutritional information of these different drinks and see. Here we have glasses of fruit punch, orange juice, regular cola soda, and water. Yum, they all look so refreshing, but they're not all equal because they all have different amounts of calories and sugar in them. Remember, food and drinks are fuel. This means we want to choose the drink that will help us feel as strong and healthy as possible when we train and go through our daily routine. Now, let's rethink our drinks. For this activity, let's pretend we have the same size 12 ounce glass for all of these drinks. All right, let's start with fruit punch. A glass of fruit punch has 192 calories. It can also have up to 42 grams of sugar. That's a lot. A glass of orange juice has about 168 calories. It can have up to 35 grams of sugar. Next, let's look at a glass of regular cola. A glass of regular cola has about 136 calories and 39 grams of sugar. Last, here's our old friend we've been talking about, water. A glass of water has zero calories and zero grams of sugar. If we look at these numbers, we can see that drinking a glass of fruit punch means that you're drinking the most calories. A glass of regular cola might have less calories than orange juice, but can have way more sugar. All of these drinks, except for water, are high in calories and sugar, and drinking a lot of them can increase your risk of different diseases that damage your organs and make it difficult for your body to function properly. Remember, this doesn't mean we can't ever have juice or soda. It just means that we should only have them every once in a while. And for most of our daily drink decisions, water is the way to go. With zero calories and zero grams of sugar, water is the best drink for an athlete on and off the field. When you choose to drink water, you not only quench that thirst, you're also helping your body get rid of waste, boost your skin health, defend against germs, deliver oxygen to all of your muscles, keep your joints moving smoothly, think clearly, sleep better, and improve your mood, just like we learned about before. Not many drinks can say they do all of that. All right, now it's your turn. On your worksheet, rank the drinks by how many calories they have, from most calories to least. Then, rank the drinks by how much sugar they have, from most grams of sugar to the least. What drink is ranked lowest for both? Pause the video now and complete the activity. Did you notice that water is ranked lowest for both calories and sugar? Awesome job! On to the next! We've learned a lot about hydration today. As important as it is, it can be easy to forget to drink water when we're busy, like when we're training for a competition. So, before we go, let's review some tips to help you stay hydrated every day. First, make it fun. Adding a squeeze of lime, a wedge of lemon, some cucumber slices, or even some fruits is a delicious, healthy way to change up the taste of water and keep it an exciting drink to choose. Second, make it easy. Fill a water bottle as part of your morning routine. Carry it with you or keep it close by through the day. Drinking from a water bottle can also help you track how much water you've had each day. Third, make it a goal. Challenge yourself to drink a certain number of cups of water per day and if you're using a water bottle, you can challenge yourself to refill your water bottle a certain number of times per day. Now you don't have to make big jumps in your goals. Start small and increase the number of water you drink by one cup every week until you reach your goal. Keep track with a daily chart and reward yourself as you hit those goals. Fourth, make it your go-to. Start choosing water next time you're eating out or at home. If we drink water most of the time and think of sugary drinks as treats to have only every once in a while, this will make a big difference in our habits and our fluid levels. Whoa! That sign on the side of the road reminds me. Are you participating in the Special Olympics Fit 5 program? If not, now's a great time to start. The Fit 5 program makes it easy for anyone to get fit through three simple goals. One, exercise five days a week. Two, eat five total fruits and vegetables every day. And three, you guessed it, 
drinking five bottles of water every day. Easy, right? Remember, your bottle should be between 16 to 20 ounces, or 500 to 600 milliliters. This is about the size of a sports water bottle. The best time to drink water is with every meal or snack, and you should drink at least one bottle of water while you're playing sports or exercising. For more information on Fit5, visit www.specialolympics.org. All right, it's time to wrap things up. Congratulations on finishing the Virtual Hydration Performance Station. Awesome job! Thank you so much for joining us. I had so much fun learning with you today. I can't wait to see you next time in another virtual performance station. Keep up the great work, stay safe, and remember, you have a community that cares for you here at the Special Olympics. We'll see you next time.